Hi guys, Fahan from Daho Nordic. Today I want to show you guys something amazing with the new AccuPix search feature. We have a scenario out here which we use to do a lot of testing. So let's try to dig a little bit deeper and show you the amazing abilities it has. This is a live feed from a third party camera. So we can show you how the AccuPic feature works together very well. So over here, I'm going to go to the top and choose the AccuPic function from live view. And then click the object, either human or vehicle, and even choose across up to seven days at a time. Go ahead and click search. Then I can adjust the similarity if it isn't a vehicle that looks exactly the same way. So now we're going to filter based on vehicle type and also color. So over here, you can see I had a couple of results which were based on different days. And I can even choose, if you notice in the top right corner, 15 minutes, up to 15 minutes. So this will put the exact event where it was triggered at the middle, so seven and a half minute in. So let's try to see if we can find that person who walked into the vehicle. Over here, you can see I'm approaching the vehicle and then I can actually go ahead and click on me. Once I click on me, I can go ahead, choose seven days again, and then I can adjust the similarity because somebody who might have the same appearance in the clothing would be able to be found like that. So here you have, again, multiple different recordings across several days of me. And here you see this is a 90% match based on what I clicked on in terms of the search. And on the search results, I will only get results from the cameras who actually detected me, which are the S3 series cameras. Over here you can see I decreased the similarity and even when I'm carrying a package, I can see it very clearly that that seems to be a person with the same appearance. That's why I get the results. And I can easily just go ahead and click to another object, either human or vehicle, because it could be that I thought this person might have something to do with that vehicle as well. And then I can easily find all the recordings in regards to that vehicle. Easy, quick, and do the backup of all of it. Very simple. In the next scene, we have an event that is ongoing. And over here, we recorded a bunch of video where we had a large flow of people. So I tried to find a recording of a person. This is one of my colleagues and thought, let's try to use the AccuPic feature by searching for him. If you paid attention, you'll see this is actually even done from our light series camera, but the results are from the S series cameras. Here I can double click and play back any file and even though it's hard to distinguish him from all the other people, we could actually see the system was very accurate in terms of determining this is the person with the same appearance. And over here, if you imagine there might be a cooperation between multiple people, just as an example, I could pick another one so I can do a search within a search. So over here, again, the system is very accurate in terms of finding the recordings. And I'm also marking the favorite icon with the star so I can find it very easily. And again, I went to a search within the search within the search where I found a third person who might be interested. Searching based on him with the simple click, I can just go ahead on the same throughout the whole day I can find all the recording of that particular person and marking them with star because that's an interesting person in this way I can just easily do the backup and notice when I'm doing the playback over here how hard it is to see the person far behind in the background I can see the recordings very easily and the system did a flawless job by finding the right person so now that I've added all the favorites, I can go ahead in my target filter, find all the favorite mark icons or recordings, so to say. But I can also go ahead and click favorites in the top right. Then I'll find all the marked ones that I did 
throughout the whole process that I was searching for the different interesting individuals. Now I could just either just go ahead and click one by one and then click back up or I could just go ahead and just mark all of them because I'd rather not lose anything. I can either combine it as a video, as one big video, that wouldn't really make sense because we have lots of different recordings from different channels, but rather just click video and do a simple backup and even in a converted format. That's it. So that was how the AccuPick feature worked. I hope I managed to amaze you and showed you how to do an advanced search in a simple way. So make sure to subscribe to keep track of all the new things that we're doing in Dapa. See you next time.